warming up outside, so now's the perfect time to check out some fresh recipes from First Quality Produce. And even though most blood oranges come from Mediterranean countries, these ruby gems are also grown locally, right here in California. Look how beautiful they are. Here to Gorgeous. tell us more about blood oranges is Katrina Oliver, who's the First Quality Produce expert, and she's mixing up a great salad for us today. Katrina, how are you? I good, never, how are you? I'm good, good. good. I, just, I never would have put a blood orange with a salad. That's why I wanted to do it. I thought it was something that combined two things that were a little more unique that people maybe say, I don't know how to use both right. of these things. Mm. But it was a mm. good combo dish to use. Yes. And these are local. These actually are both from California. The Fennel comes to us from Southern California. Mm. These blood oranges are straight here from Fowler, actually. Really? So pretty close by, yeah. So how do we get started? Here's what we do. I've done a little bit of prep ahead of time. And just as a little experiment, I'm gonna start with a blood orange selection. And I did a little bit of this on our segment last week for our First Quality Produce's new YouTube series on our YouTube channel, Perfect Pick. Mm. Tomorrow, Thursday, we're coming out with our next one, which will be fennel focused. I'll be sharing all about fennel, some more information on it. So I thought it was good today to maybe use the recipe, but Alex, why don't you give me a hand? Okay. I'm going to okay. put an orange in each of your hands. Okay. Tell me which one feels heavier to you. Which one feels, I think this one feels a little heavier. Which is funny because it's a little smaller than this one. Yeah, yeah. And it feels heavier. Now, this was a selection process that okay. I chose. Okay. That I use when I cut up these oranges ahead of time because that's what you want to look for when you're looking for the blood oranges. Oh. You want the heavier it when, is? Whatever look seems heavy for its size. Okay, exactly. Okay. So even though this is smaller, it feels heavier, mm -hmm. which is a good sign. And those mm -hmm. are usually the ones that have more of that anth uh, anthocyanin, mm -hmm. which is the antioxidant that gives the blood oranges its red color. So this one here, even though it felt heavier, it's going to be a very good blood orange. But it looks like a regular orange on the outside. So, so there's no w other way to tell the difference between a blood orange and a regular orange. Um, from the outside, it may actually look just like a regular orange. Okay. Usually they're a little bit smaller, heavier, and they may or may not have, like see this one here, for instance, it has a little bit of the anthocyanin seeping out the pores. Okay. Yeah. It's a little darker. It may or may not have that, and they may be marbled. As you can see here in the one Stephanie was just showing, some are like pure maroon color, and some are marbled, orange and maroon. So I kind of think it's fun because what other fruit do you get a surprise when you open it? Oh, I know. Great. You know what a strawberry is going to look like, but you don't know. You're going, gee, yeah. this one could be a different variety of things. Well, we've got two minutes, so we want to make sure we <laughs> mix this up. Let's what do we do next? Let's cut the fennel. This is a tricky okay. thing, I think. Okay. So what you're going to do is cut off the stalks real quick here. And I'm actually going to save a little bit of the tops for our garnish for the salad. Mm -hmm. Just chop that off right really quick here and set it on the side. And then I'm going to just show you how to cut the fennel because I think that's the thing that people really want to see. Mm -hmm. How do I do that? Yes, so I'm gonna how go do ahead we do it? Set the rest of this aside. I'm gonna cut this lengthwise, so from the, the root bottom of the bulb to the top. I'm gonna slice it like this, and it has a little bit of a core on the inside, which I'm going to take out. If it's growing a little bit like that, I'm gonna go ahead and extract that. And then I already did half of it over there, as you can see the way oh, it's chopped oh, up. Look at you. I'm gonna show you the other side and how we cut it up. I'm just going to take off the core bottom here. That's a tougher piece we don't want to eat. I'm going to keep that intact. And I'm actually, Alex, can you yeah. grab me that slicer oh, back yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. So this is a mandolin. This is what I used. Thank you. Sure. This is what I used to slice it. Now, if you're really adept in the kitchen and you want to be able to go ahead and slice on your own really thin, knock yourself out. I <laughs> used the mandolin slicer for I both. I like that gadget. Right? It's a little safer on your manicure. <laughs> I did that for both the onions and the fennel. So all I'm gonna do here is just take this, it's a nice big safe size, and I'm gonna slice it crosswise into the mandolin. Wow. Like this. And as you can see, it turns out like this. Beautiful. Which is just like what I have here in this bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those two together. And really this is more of a layering salad. It's a hearty winter spring salad. Mm -hmm. Starts with the arugula. So this is actually, the arugula is about four Loosely packed cups. Now I'm going to add the fennel on top of this. Mm. So really, I think the salad's all about presentation. Very it's, true. It's a lot beautiful, of different colors going a on. lot of different colors going in. And so when you start to layer and you have your fennel down, do you go, because I noticed that you have, uh, is this olive oil? I do, that's the dressing. Okay, so, so that's after. So yeah, so then the we're gonna oranges. just layer the oranges on real quick. Beautiful. They are beautiful. The, the dressing really makes itself because you've got the fennel juices, mm, you've I got know. the oh, onions. Um, onions, and you've got the, of course, orange juices. 
And I'll put some of that on there, kind of mix it around. While she puts all that together, we want to remind everybody of their first quality produce box that they can order online and you can check out the, the, the pickup locations online as well. There's so many yeah. different places around town where you can pick them up. And remember, there's also uh, so many other products that they have there the at First Quality products, products and uh, produce, including the, the, the mixed bags already, yes. right? And many of these items are featured in the box this month Perfect. and Beautiful. available online. I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle this olive oil into the red wine vinegar and whisk it together. Oh, that's yeah. Really bad. Perfect. Really light. A lot of the juice is going to come in the dressing from those blood oranges. Put in some salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to do a little more pepper than salt because we want to keep this low sodium. Mm. Make it healthy. Well, we're going to let you finish so I'm we can present it at the very end. So take your, it on top. There you go. Take your time. we got to take a quick break. We'll be right back with Katrina in the final presentation. That was